What's going on everybody, it's Itamar and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to give you an overview of something that Apple just announced, which is the Vision OS SDK, which means that it's already available for you to download. And this is part of the Exco beta version that was just announced and released today. So I'm gonna give you an overview of how you can get the tools, where do you need to go to download the tools, and also what the tools are, and how you can use them to basically test the experiences that you're going to be building with the Apple Vision Pro. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The tools should be able to be downloaded from developer.apple.com, Vision OS, and then just click on download. It's going to ask you to log in to developer.apple.com. I already did that. And what you need to do is just click on view details. It's available with Xcode 15 beta 2. So you're gonna see the Vision OS beta, it's in here. And that's what I downloaded. I downloaded basically the Xcode 15 beta 2. And then I check that, and then that's what I ended up installing. And I already created a couple of them, but I'm gonna create one app just so that you see how this works. So normally when you go into creating an application in iOS, so you go iOS or macOS or watchOS, depending on what you want to create with the tools that Apple provides. In this case, we're going to be doing Vision OS, and this is gonna be an overview. I'm not going to be creating an app, a complete app, but it's going to give you information about how it works. And then just go ahead and click on next. Let's say this is gonna be your Vision OS, hello world. Then make sure that you have a team, you have to have an account in developer.apple.com. And then once you do that and set up Xcode, you're going to have what you see in here. And then I normally do things with com.learn XR. So that's going to be my bundle identifier. And then you also get like a window and also a volume. I'm gonna leave it as a window and then we can probably just do maybe a mixed reality experience. We selected a mixed reality experience. So you can see here that I can look around. We also have a little window in here that shows the sidebar, the content, and also a 3D model with a button. And on the left side, you have basically the Swift code. And what's crazy about this is you can actually code in here and it's going to be updating right away. So this is basically using a hot reload functionality. So as soon as you do that, you're gonna see that now we have item two, we had another item in here and then basically click away. You're gonna see that that also changes. I could also do the same thing in here with maybe add another model and just duplicate it. Now we should see two different models with the world, hello world in it. I can also move around to simulate head movement. And what I'm doing is holding right mouse click while I move the mouse around. I can also hold control and basically scroll out and then scroll in. So if I wanted to go all the way to the background, I can do that. I can basically go around, use some of these icons in here, and I can just basically pan around this area. I can also just rotate my head. So if I do and select that icon, you're gonna see that now I can rotate. So let me go ahead and bring in the UI. So to bring in the UI, you're gonna have to click on this and then click on the down arrow here. And you're gonna see that now we're starting to get into the territory of the Vision OS operating system. You have different options in here. You can go home, you have different environments, also different, well, the control center, which is really cool because if you're used to the Apple ecosystem, some of these icons are going to be very similar to you and I can, you know, raise the volume, lower the volume, notification center. So let's say that I wanted to look at all the apps. You can see now that I can look at all the apps. I can also go in, I'm going to go ahead and hold control and then just look at the beautiful icons in here and then maybe hold my click as I rotate. Let me do that again. And you can see that I can look around and look at the icons. There are also different environments that you can, that you can also use. So let me show you how we can do that. So if I wanted to build this, we can ju just go ahead and hit play. And you're gonna get a lot of different options in here. You can go to file, open a simulator, save a screen, record the screen, restart the device, simulate input keyboard, and then face ID, debug options. So basically just the whole package of the simulator. So we can do the same thing in here. I can just basically scroll, scroll in to go in, scroll back out. Then I can also go back in here and if I if I select this bar in here and then basically hold left click and then move it around, I can basically put this application in here on the right hand side. And that's cool because that's the app that we just built by just a couple of clicks. So let's say that you wanted to open up something that is part of the operating system, right? So I'm gonna click on 
this down arrow here, and then I'm gonna bring in my control center. And you're gonna see that we have now volume. We also have the Wi-Fi option. If I wanted to enable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and then if I want to, you know, basically pass notifications, text, and so on. So what if I wanted to search for an application? Perhaps I want to open up, and this is cool, right? It shows the text preview. If I wanted to maybe search for something, I search for Safari, then it's gonna work just like it would on the actual Vision OS with the actual device. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Safari and I'm just gonna put it in, maybe I'll just put it here on my left side. And it's gonna bring in the Wikipedia, that's going to be the homepage. What if I wanted to go to, maybe I'll go to my channel, right? And I'm gonna go to YouTube and I actually have, let me do that one more time. And I'm using the keyboard on my, my actual keyboard on my computer. You can actually click in here and also use your mouse if you wanted to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say Dilmer V and then hit enter. And let me go ahead and let me go ahead and pause that because it's going to be really loud. But it's really cool because you can now, if I wanted to maybe move this right here, maybe we are, you know, in a museum and that's how you, or you want to test it in a museum and this is, you know, what you're going to be simulating it on. You can do it. I can also maximize this if I wanted to. And you can see that now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the volume down a little bit. And I can move it up, I can move it down. And right now we are in, basically it's in full screen, so that's why we can see the whole thing. And, and everything works, it's really, really cool. We also have some other options in here if you wanted to change the text, if you want to, wanted to share this. You basically have everything available to you in here. We can go back in here to the news and go back to the Google search result. Another thing that I can also do is I can go ahead and, let me go ahead and go back and I'm gonna hit this down arrow. And what if I go all the way in and then I lose my menu? So another thing that you can see is this icon is going to follow you everywhere. So I can go back in here and then bring it back on and you can see that we, we get it again. We get all the different apps. In this case, I wanna open Freeform and we can go ahead and I did, I, I tried to draw something, but it wasn't that nice. Let's go, let's go ahead and do a new one. I can basically do some red, maybe a little bit of smaller red, and then we can just start drawing, right? We can do something here like, hello. And this is gonna, not gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna say, hello. And okay, this was, this was really bad. But the idea is that I wanted to show you how it looked. If you wanted to erase, you can do you can do that as well. Everything works in here and it's all you know, working great. I can say done. And now that application is in there. Just gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit, control, and then basically scroll. Scroll down uh, forward and backward to basically zoom in and zoom out. Another thing that I can also do is I can bring in here a different type of app. We can, let's go ahead and do search. And what if we bring in maps? And I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy, I'm just going to maybe put it right there, and then I'll just grab this guy right here, and then we'll just put it right here. And then I'll just look and see, it's pretty cool because if I zoom in, it still shows me, okay, it still shows me that, it shows me the one on the left, and we can go in here and say, well, I want to say, I want to go to, maybe I want to go to work, and I haven't really set anything up, but we can go in here, select something, we can look at different pictures. I can also rotate myself and then just look here so that it looks, and this is the first day that I use this, so if you if you notice, I'm learning how to use. I can also rotate it, so if you want to get this in portrait mode, it also shows you, let me try that again. Make sure that you always change back to that icon, otherwise it won't let you select it, and you can see that now we have that in portrait mode. But another thing that I can also do though is I can also resize this. If I wanted to make it landscape, I can make it landscape. I wanna make it smaller. So basically you can resize the window and that looks really cool. And then so we have Yelp, so I think that works. So what if we wanted to test this in a different area? Maybe you wanna see how your application looks at night. We can put it right here. Another thing that I can also do is we can go ahead and bring back the application that we are developing. Let me try that again. Bring, and then let's say that in this case, I wanna bring, well, Vision OS Hello World is the one that we're working on. So I just wanna test it and see how it looks in this case. Maybe I'll just go back a little bit and then move it around. And then this one, if you want to close it, you can also close it by hitting, hitting that and then you can basically just test 
and look at the look at the experience here. If you want to get these, like I said, just make sure that you go back into developer.apple.com and then download it. And then I guess at this point, let's go ahead and test it and play around as much as we can. And it's gonna be a really fun weekend. If you have any questions about how to get in here or anything that I show you, let me know. And I know that this wasn't a perfect tutorial. It was more of a, this is what I learned in the last few minutes. And I wanted to show you how that works. If you wanna learn more about XR, let me know in the comments or make sure that you hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys.